Well, calls to child protective services have been on the decline since the coronavirus pandemic began. At first, the decline has been mainly attributed to kids not being in school, but even in the summer months, calls are down. CBS 19's Matt Lackert spoke with CPS to find out what other factors may be in play. The coronavirus pandemic is affecting us all in ways that we never could have pictured just a few months ago. And for Child Protective Services, it's no different. Cherry Pulliam with CPS says not only are calls down, but intakes as well. The, the decrease in calls is very worse, worrisome to Child Protective Services and Child Protective Services investigations because we know that some of these children are at home with their abusers. When in-person school abruptly came to a halt in the spring, CPS was aware that calls would decrease. This is because teachers are the number one reporters who call CPS to report cases. They make up 14.8% of our intakes that come in, with medical professionals coming in second at 11.6. So we do expect that every summer, but our intakes started dropping off um, in March when the COVID pandemic hit. What wasn't expected is the continuing decline of calls in the summer months. In June, over the past three years in Smith County, there's been an average of 756 calls made to CPS. In 2020, that number dropped all the way to 579. That's almost a 25% decrease in calls. They're not going to summer camp. They're not probably doing swimming lessons. They're just not being seen by the public as much as they usually are in past years. Pulliam says if you have any reason to suspect a case of child abuse or negligence, don't hesitate to call their hotline. We've got you covered, East Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19. If for any reason you feel the need to reach out to CPS, you can find their hotline number on our website at cbs19.tv.